You suck at playing Heimerdinger. You've given it a try, but you went 0-8, and then you tried it again, you went 1-7, and you just had no idea what's wrong with this champion. Why are my turrets not doing a lot of damage? Why am I losing lane all the time? How are the how is the enemy Heimerdinger 1v9ing the game? Why am I saying it's Giga Broken? Let me tell you exactly how you play Heimerdinger. There's two builds, there's two playstyles. That's it. I'm gonna go over them and I'm gonna explain to you exactly how you can turn into a nightmare Heimerdinger for the enemies to deal with. Because there's a lot of secret little things you gotta know. I analyzed Chinese gameplay, I analyzed Challenger PC gameplay, and then I played Heimerdinger myself and I tested, and that's how I figured this stuff out um, very quickly. I put a lot of time and effort into this video, so I would appreciate it a lot if you guys give it a like. And I have a quick word to share with you guys as well, which may change your life. For the next 72 hours, we're having an 80% discount on the player versus fitness program. Here's what it looks like. You get everything that we offer for an entire month for 20 euros. Why are we doing this? It's because we want to have a lot of people in our program to get a massive transformation on January, because that's when we want to start to promote our program a lot more, but we need a lot of transformation. So we need to get people in now. There's 20 spots available for this. 20 euro payment, that's it. And after a month into the program, you can decide for yourself if this is something for you that you want to do and continue. A lot of people have came before you, me included, of course. Here you can see a whole lot of other people. So if you've ever thought about entering the program, but you were just afraid of the initial payment, the initial commitment, 20 euros. Pay 20 euros, you're in the Discord, you have access to everything, the programming is gonna be made for you, your entire diet, workout plan, Everything is going to be done for an entire month for 20 euros. So click the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get started. 72 hours from when this video is released. That's all you have. All right, you know what we can also get? We can get an 80% win rate as well. So let's start talking about it. Hey, that one was smooth now, wasn't it? So the way, this is the first build. To sort of explain to you what the two builds are, this is build number one. This is build number two. Completely different. So let's first talk about build number one and when you play this build. This build is the more annoying build. You want to play this build if you want to take down the tanks slowly but steadily. If you want to really annoy the enemies, just be annoying if you know what I mean, like burn them, slow them, constant harassment. That's what this build is built for. Not to maximize your damage. This is not a one-shotting build or anything like that. This is just to be so annoying, constant, un just, just, you know if you want to be annoying in the game? You go for this build and this build is generally better into tanks so the way it goes is you start off with mana boots then you go for the rylai scepter now rylai scepter does not have percentage percentage magic penetration but it absolutely compensates with the slowing you are constantly going to slow the enemies every turret shot is going to slow the enemy next up leandris the burning is everything you want to constantly burn the enemy with your first ability next up we go for rabadon's death cap just because this item is so good and then we go for psychic projector the idea behind this item is it gives ability haste, but the main idea is um, you put down your turrets, the enemies engage on you, and they're going to have a difficult time killing you. Because first of all, Rylai Scepter, 350 bonus max health, as you can see uh, over here. Leandris, 250 max health. That's 600 bonus max health already. This item gives you 300 more. That's 900 bonus max health. You're going to get ability power equal to 3% of that maximum health. So that's going to be what? Like, uh, like it's almost 30 extra ability power on top of what you're getting here. But then the main thing is the shield. You're getting a big, big shield. 5%. It's going to be near, It's going to be 45 plus everything that you have with your... You're going to get big shields all the time. Every 3 seconds. So actually you get a little bit less because you're a ranged champion. But... The whole point being is, you're going to be very, very tanky, you're going to put down your turrets, you're going to spam your abilities, and the enemies just can't kill you. They can't kill you. That's, that's the idea of this build. And before they kill you, they will take so much punishment from all of your abilities and all of your turrets, that it's not even worth it for them to kill you. So I'll show you this playstyle. Um, I have two gameplays. One gameplay, of course, with this build, and one gameplay with the other build. Last item is going to be Crown of the Shattered Queen. Yet again, we're fully catered towards being annoying. This, yet again, adds to your survivability. 
Um, of, by the way, right after your Rylai Scepter, you can already build a Stasis. You want to build a Stasis very, very early on Heimerdinger. The whole idea that you want to play Heimerdinger is you put down your turrets. When they dive you, you Stasis. So for three seconds, or two and a half seconds, I should say, they're going to take all that punishment from your turrets and your teammates. And that's when your Stasis is going to run out and you're just going to provide so much value. For this build, oh, by the way, always Arcane. I don't really care. Uh, Arcane Comet. I don't really care what build you're running. You're always going to go Arcane Comet on uh, Heimerdinger. Arcane Comet is going to do like over 5,000 damage every single game, especially with this build, because you have a Rylai Scepter. Arcane Comet is pretty much going to proc almost always. So you're always going for this rune. This is the most broken rune on Heimerdinger. With this build, I go Scorch. Sorry, with this build, I go for the Domination Tree. Scorch, Mark of the Weak, and Eyeball Collector. Um, because with this build, again, as I said, you want to be annoying. You're not mainly focused at damage, you're mainly focused at being annoying. Arcane Comet plus the Scorch, you know, plus the Mark of the Week, you're, you're just gonna be so annoying, you're gonna do so much poking. And Transcendence is the most important rune as well, right after the Arcane Comet, because you want the cooldown reduction, you want to put down as many turrets as you can. For the spells, with this build, you go Exhaust and Flash. Do I need to explain again? Survivability, Exhaust the enemy that's about to kill you, that's what it is. Now let's talk about the other build. This is going to be the second game of today's video. This is the Giga Chat build. The funny thing is, you can actually do similar amounts of damage with both builds, but this one is going to take down the enemy quicker. The other one is going to do it more painful. It's gonna take longer, but they're gonna suffer more. So the way this build goes, is you start with Boots of Mana, then you go Infinity Orb. And I'm gonna talk about why, but basically it has to do with the way you're gonna use your ultimate. With the first build, you're mainly going to use the big turret ultimate. With this build, you're mainly going to use the rockets, the rocket ultimate, which is your second ability. I'll get fully into this during the gameplay. So Infinity Orb is gonna allow you to one-shot people with those rockets. That's the idea. Next up, Hextech Soul Stealer. The Hextech Soul Stealer is so broken on Heimerdinger. The change they did to it, stealing their movement speed when you kill them, and the ability haste. That's the crazy part. You steal their ability haste. So you can spam your turrets. You can spam your ultimate. This is the big one. Because you have so much damage, you're going to take down an enemy very easily. And if you immediately take them down and steal that ability haste and reducing your ability cooldowns when you kill them, it, 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 it's just super broken. It's insane. Like one kill is all you need or one assist. And that's all you need to just completely carry the whole fight because of the bonus ability haste. You're gonna have so, so much. This item is broken, like it has to get fixed or something. Because on Heimerdinger, really, really insane. And I would say, by the way, that this build is the stronger build from the two. Um, next up, Rabadon's Death Cup for the damage. Here we go for Crown of the Shattered Queen. The only survivability item you're gonna get with this build, Crown of the Shattered Queen. Lastly, Riftmaker. You can get anything lastly. If you need anti-heal, you go for the green book. Um, but I generally recommend Riftmaker just for a tad bit of survivability. You're going to do so much damage that the healing is just going to be crazy. While they're attacking you, your turrets will do so, so much damage that it just, it can out-heal their damage. Also, Stasis, same story. You can get Stasis after your first item already. But with this build, I actually recommend Stasis after two items. Um, it depends on the game, of course, but I recommend Stasis after two items. Don't go for Magi's Soul Stealer. It makes sense, but don't go for it because the item itself is just weak. Now, with this build, we're changing up the runes. We will go Arcane Comet still. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to proc Arcane Comet consistently with this build because... Um, you don't have the Rylai Scepter, but you're still going to proc it more than enough, trust me. And it's going to do more damage. Next up, we go for the Precision Tree. Because here, we're not trying to be annoying. We're trying to be efficient. We're trying to do as much damage as we can. Gathering Storm, Giant Slayer, Legend Bloodline for the healing. This is what we want. The big, big damage. And of course, Transcendence. Like, you don't want anything else than Transcendence with Heimerdinger. For the spells, here we go for Ignite. Again, harassment, one-shotting, that's the name of the game with this build. And Flash, of course. So that's it about the build. Let's now get into the first gameplay. I have two gameplays for you guys, as I said. You, y'all gonna love this video. I really hope that you are gonna notice the effort that I put into this video. Uh, because, as I said, I watched a lot of League videos, League of Legends. And I watched a lot of Chinese Wild Rift videos of the best of the best player pl players playing Heimerdinger and I learned from them to give you guys this video, to basically condense it all. Condense? Yes, condense it all in this, in one video. So, 
I also really hope you guys don't mind me advertising the play versus fitness program. Um, again, it's my business, so I'm sorry if it annoys people. You can just skip w when I talk about it in the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, that's that. Those are the things that I have to say. So let's talk about a, a few misconceptions about playing Heimerdinger. Number one is you need to max your first ability. That's your main damage. You all, you immediately need to take your turrets. Do you see which abilities I'm upgrading right now, guys? I don't even have turrets. You don't even want to upgrade your turrets until level 3. Level 1, you take 2nd ability. Or 3rd ability if you're invading or like trying to stun someone and catch someone out. But mainly 2nd ability. You're gonna harass the enemy like this. Boom, boom. This is what you do. Early game, this is what you do. You harass the enemy like that. You just... try. To, if you stun them, you can auto aim your 2nd ability. Um, I have a really cool trick with the 2nd ability by the way. But the game is bugged. Uh, let me explain to you what I mean. So, I'm sure 99% of, of you guys that are watching this video are always going to try to... Um, is it diverge or converge? Wait. Converge. I'm sh yeah, that's, that's the right word. I'm sure 99% of you guys are going to try to converge the rockets into one point. Meaning, like, you're trying to put all the rockets in one point to maximize your damage. I'm sure 99% of you guys are trying to do it like that. Is that. Like that. You see, that's converging your rockets. And while, yes, you do the most damage this way, this is actually not the way you generally want to do it. What? What am I talking about? The way you actually want to do it is you, di you want to diverge the rockets. Diverge meaning shoot them everywhere. You want to shoot them everywhere. So let's talk about this and you'll see me do it in the game. And let's talk about why it's bugged. Your first rocket is going to do the most damage. All the additional rockets that you hit on an enemy are only going to do a fraction of the damage. So think about it. Would you rather just hit one enemy with everything? Or would you rather like hit like three enemies? And do maximum damage to all three of them. Of course you want to hit three enemies. You know how much harassment these rockets are going to do in the late game? And also, if you try to converge them in one place, it's actually quite difficult to hit the enemy. Unless they're stunned. Of course if they're stunned, of course if they're stunned, you just want to, you know, shoot it in one place. Uh, look at how much damage my mini turrets are doing, by the way. You know how I ran away? Heimerdinger passive. If you run next to a turret, you get movement speed. I fully knew about this. Oh my god. I fully knew about this and I utilized the movement speed of my turrets. As you can see, when you walk around your turrets, you get that, I think it's 15 or 20% movement speed. And you're going to be extremely quick. So here you can see again, I, I consciously put down the turret over there in case I get ganked. So I can just run out, right? Like that's what you want to do. So the way I'm dead. The way you want to divert your um, rockets is you want to aim them right in front of Heimerdinger. What's going to happen is he's going to shoot them like this. So you're going to shoot them everywhere. So when an enemy is very mobile, you can still hit them because they, it's really difficult to dodge the, the diverging rockets because they're going to go everywhere. Again, like I'm talking about it now, but you'll see during the gameplay. Heimerdinger's third ability is very easy to hit and one of the strongest abilities that he has. Fully utilize this ability. Stun the enemy before you hit your rockets. If you can, like if the enemy is, is slow, not mobile, stun them or at least slow them before trying to hit your second ability. Because if you stun them, of course, you can just simply pew, converge it into one go and hit, the, hit them fully. Here you can see, like, I shouldn't have done it like that. You see, like, I'm just not going to hit it like that. If I diverge it like this, I would have hit him. I would have hit him. The chances were a lot higher that I would have hit him. But then again, you'll see more of that. Uh, you'll see more of that, don't worry. I'm ganking this Garen. Camille has ult. What, what, why are you not ulting? Wait, let me make my camera a bit bigger. Why did he not ult? Oh, I have a lot of space in my camera. Look at this. He could have ulted him and... I, oh, wait, never mind. And I could have just killed him. Oh, by the way, guys, I am doing a skin giveaway. 
I'm giving away three skins again this month and all you have to do to enter is put down a comment under this video and again big reminder the player versus fitness program is only 20 euros now just click on the link fulfill the payment and if after a month you know you, you feel like you don't enjoy the program and it's not for you you can just cancel your subscription before the next payment goes through and you've had an entire month for 20 euros if that's really what you want to do so like enter it now change your life trust me there's only 20 spots left for this that's why it's only viable 72 hours after this video. So you gotta be quick with this one. And uh, I, again, as I said, I know a lot of people, they were kind of scared to get in because it's a big commitment, right? To, to pay like the full amount. But this is your way to, to give the program a try basically for a lot cheaper price. He's gonna be dead here. I'm just putting down my turret to cut off his path. He actually dodged that. I'm not even gonna ult. I will ult him though. I'm just putting down a big turret in case he tries to kill me. But he doesn't, so he's just dead. There we go. There you can see, like, a very nice little gank. Um, Hammerdinger is really good at ganking because of his stun. And he does a lot of burst damage. That empowered second ability does so much damage. It's crazy. Especially with the builds that I'm playing in the second game of today's video. Again, this is, this is the game where I went for the absolute most annoying build ever. I actually think this is going to be a 28-minute game by the way, so brace yourselves for... And I think the second game is a really long game too. And I also think that in both games, I did around 90 to 100, I think 80, 90, 100k damage. I don't remember exactly how much, but all I can say is these are gonna be some of the craziest games you guys are ever gonna see. I, I'm really, really proud of this video, if, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> Man, I'm taking down this turret. Oy. Okay, I put down the big turret. Oh my god, no way, no way. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean with the most annoying build? He got slowed by my big turret. I bought an early stasis. This is what I talked to you guys about. Buy the stasis early in the game, right after your first item, and you can just beat Akazix in a 1v1. He's just not gonna beat you. He can't. It's so funny. It's so funny how broken it is. If you just play it correctly. And as a Heimerdinger, so one major counter, one major counter tip that I have for you guys when you're playing against engaging champions like Kha'Zix, like Vi, like Malphite, Wukong, any engager, like Riven, you know, any, any engager, just put down one turret behind you. You should always have like, or like, not behind you, like, you should always have a turret close. Even if this turret is not really doing anything. When the enemy jumps on you, literally just auto-aim a turret. Don't even try to aim it, just put it down. And then, if you can, if you have enough time, if you're not gonna get one shot, put another turret down. So if you if you have your ultimate available, ult and put an empowered turret down, by the way. And then you stasis. And just look at what will happen to them. Oh, 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 oh. He has tenacity. How is he able to run away that quickly? He has to have tenacity. Actually kind of screwed here. Ah, really? You flash over the wall? So, you put down three turrets, ideally. You already have one put down. And then you stasis. And I can assure you, there's not a single enemy that can tank everything and wait for your stasis. Now, if you can one-shot that enemy, have your two turrets, and don't put down an empowered turret, use your empowered second ability instead. Because that's that mainly contributes towards one-shotting people. And that's honestly the way to play this build. That's the way to do it with this build. You're mainly going to put down an empowered turret because that's the strongest thing about this build. This build is really focused on the turret. That's what I'm trying to say. But of course, if you have the opportunity to one-shot the enemy, if they're stunned or something. I think in the second game, I figured out the, uh, the diverging trick. I think that was the second game. That's what I mean, the empowered second ability for damage, baby. Even though this build is not really meant for, you know, damage. Man, but just look at how annoying that is. 
Yeah, as I said, in this game, I didn't, I think I didn't know about the diverging shots. The second game is where the real stuff is gonna happen then. Because that's when I really, really got good at Heimerdinger. You'll see, you'll see. In case you don't have enough time, just skip to the second game. Like, I'm really trying to emphasize on how good the second game is gonna be. Oi, the damage. Oh man, like right here, I could have bullied them so much with the diverging shots. I could have hit all of them. Ooh, what, what? Like, I missed so much damage. And if, as you can see, my Arcane Comet is just constantly jumping on them. Because every time your turret hits the enemy, it procs the Arcane Comet. That's why on Heimerdinger, you're going to be able to get 30, 40, 50 stacks of it. Do Okay, that's a lot of damage. But your Arcane Comet is going to do at least 5,000 damage every game. Honestly, here you can really see, you can see the burning is and the slowing is the main part of the build, right? There we go! I finally started doing it. That's the diverging shot. You see that? Now it didn't hit right there, but that's the diverging shot. Yeah, 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 yeah! It's not quite... You can diverge it even more. But I think I started doing... I started doing it here. That's really good. Look at my positioning. I'm not in the... Yeah, 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 look! I'm trying it here. Oh god. I'm bringing them to my turret and I'm running around by- As you can see, like you can try to escape by running close to your turrets because of the movement speed. So, let me tell you about the bug with, with this diverging shots. Very often when you try to aim very close to you, it's just not gonna shoot it. Which is extremely annoying. I don't know why Riot has done this. But if you aim it very closely to you... Maybe there's like a setting that I have to turn off or something, but it, it just... It doesn't work always. It just doesn't always work, which is really annoying. You'll see it happen in the second game where it just doesn't work, which is very, very annoying. Also, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like. Really, really supports the channel a lot. Allows me to put more effort in my videos as well because of the algorithm. It gets pushed to more viewers and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like. Oh man, I don't even remember what happened in the late game this game. Here, look, look. You see? This is what I mean. It will always hit. I wouldn't have hit him if I just aimed it at him. But with the, with the what is it, diverging shot? You're gonna hit them. It's the little secret sauce of the second ability, guys. Look, look. It's not shooting, though. It wasn't shooting. Because, again, it's bugged or something. I have no idea. It does nearly as much damage as when you would hit all the rockets on a single enemy. It's crazy because, because of how much damage the initial rocket does. And especially with this build, because you have Rylai Scepter and, and Leandris, it's going to be even more powerful by doing the diverging shot. Oh, I'm doing the Empower. You know why I did it like that? Because we're in a choke point and Camille ulted them. So even though I have the, burn, I have the annoying build, I'm still doing it like that because um, they were in a choke point and Camille ulted. Stasis, man. I, I was able to put down one turret, which is great, actually. Always try to put down a turret before stasising. Whenever you can. It just does so much. Try to stun him. He's dead. There we go. You can play from such a long range with Heimerdinger. That's the good thing about this champion. You don't gotta be in their faces. You just put down turrets and all of your abilities are long range. So it's so, so good that you can just do that. Look, it didn't work again. Oh my god. Come on. Uh, did I not kill her? Really? 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 That was not enough. Oh man. Could I have bought items right when I died there? Did I miss out on that? Because right when I died, I could have maybe bought items which would have increased the Leandri's damage. Which could have maybe been enough to kill him. I don't know, maybe. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but I should have definitely bought my uh, items faster. So I would have done a little bit more damage right there. Could have maybe killed him. Man, we're dying. We're losing. What's happening? We're suddenly losing the game. We were winning so hard. What happened? Wait. Why? Why, why, don't, why are we all dying? We all died. What the hell? I'm gonna try to put turrets over this wall, maybe, but I gotta be a bit careful as well. Stasis, 
Stuff you want to be careful of in the draft when you pick Heimerdinger is if an enemy has major AoE damage that can easily take down your turrets, you want to be careful. Also, something else you want to be careful of, I believe... I'm not sure if Vagar can stack on your turrets. I think he can, but Nasus definitely can stack on your turrets. So, when a Nasus last hits one of your turrets with his first ability, it counts like a cannon minion. So be very careful of Anasus, because Anasus will farm your turrets. He'll eat all of them up and get insane amounts of stacks. So that's one champion you do want to be very careful of. I got four items, by the way. I'm really, really strong right now. But we're dying. Oh, he has Force of Nature. Oh, that's not good. Diverging Shot, there we go. Doing a ton of damage to everyone. Shoot it. There we go. I think I'm gonna put an Empowered Turret down, yeah. Because the Empowered Turret is the strongest with this build. But unfortunately, it's already taken down. I'm, I just want you to know, I'm doing so much damage in this fight. Like, it may not seem like it, but I'm destroying them. I'm doing tons of damage. And just being so annoying by constantly... Okay, finally my team goes in. I just got destroyed by the Syndra. I was doing all of that and no one followed up. But now finally the Fiddlesticks followed up. It was a good dive. You know what's also a difference between the builds? The slowing build, the build in this game, is better if, you're, if you have teammates that can execute the enemies. So think about Pike, think about Fiddlesticks, think about Kai'Sa. Kai'Sa also does more damage when the enemy is low HP. If you have allies in your team that can execute the enemies better than they can take away HP, then this build is gonna be better. If you have allies in your team that can poke down the enemy, but not necessarily execute them as well, so think about Zix, think about Ezreal, think about maybe Jinx, think about like think about champions that or Viego is the biggest example. He does more damage if you're full HP. So if you, have champ if you have champions that go Blade of the Room King, so like a Yone or something, then you want to go for the one-shotting build. It's generally better because Blade of the Room King does more damage when the enemy is full HP. So Yone will get them low and then you'll finish them off with the Infinity Orb. So that's another thing, that's another way you can decide which build to go for. I'm giving you guys the entire blueprint by the way, I'm not keeping any secrets, I'm literally spilling everything to you. So if you just listen, if you listen to what I'm saying, apply these tips, you're going to destroy the enemies with Heimerdinger. Because now you know the secret behind this champion. Well, you will know because there's still so much more to talk about. Look at that. Look at that. You see how easy I just hit that Ezreal? Boom. Look, look, look. Look. He would have died. You see how he would have died from that? Because of all the slows and everything. He literally would have died. It, it didn't even feel like I did anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. I use the empowered stun. Oh. You know what? The idea was good. Wait, actually, the fiddlesticks, was he inting? Was he really trying to take the elder when I did my massive engage? Because I have this feeling that the fiddlesticks could have ulted in when I did that. Maybe I saw it wrong. I don't know. I didn't actually pay attention to where he was at. But now it's looking real bad. They're gonna get this Elder. So regarding the Empowered Abilities, you may, with this build, you mainly want to use the Empowered Turret. The second one would probably be the Empowered Second Ability. And lastly, the Empowered Third Ability. I don't really use that one too often. That one is only really good if you, if you really want to stun one enemy and just one-shot them. If you really, really want to catch that one enemy, or if you want to stun the entire enemy team, they're all clumped up together, you could use the Empowered Third Ability to just get a massive stun off. But generally, you're better off with, you, with using the other Empowered Abilities, honestly. They're just way stronger. It's just not working! Diverging shot, I don't know why. It's so annoying that it doesn't work. Oh, and your turret works as Vision. So you can use your turrets as wards. Something else you need to know as well, if you put a turret in a bush and the enemy gets close to that bush, your turret is actually not going to attack them because for some reason it doesn't work like that. Because I guess that would be too broken. Um, because then 
they can't see the they can't see the it will only attack them when wait it did attack them did i see it wrong then i remember when i put a turret in the bush it wasn't attacking an enemy because if it does attack an enemy the bushes are perfect places for it because number one the enemies will not be able to see the turrets only when it attacks them so it's a really really good spot but i'm pretty sure i remember vaguely that my turret did not attack the enemy when it was in a bush maybe it's different in wild rift compared to pc league i'm not sure well we'll figure it out because i'm definitely gonna put my turret in bushes more often oh there we go empowered turret is on the map look at where it's placed on the choke point so they can't cross that choke point look at that look at that you see my positioning very very nice and safe i'm standing behind my turrets i'm letting my turrets do the job like gordon ramsay says let the knife do the job right like i'm letting my turrets do the job i'm not forcing myself in i'm letting the turrets do the job oh my god that damage is insane Look at the turret. Just the turret alone is killing Garen. Ah. Maybe kill him? Ouch. 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 37 stacks of Meteor, by the way. Look at this. Have you ever seen this many stacks of Meteor? You're only gonna get that with Heimerdinger. Not with a single other champion. I really need that Crown of the Shattered Queen, by the way. The bonus damage... I need it and the bonus percentage armor penetra magic penetration because this Garen is force of nature so I really 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 need that magic penetration from that last item wait is he gonna be in trouble here oh my god what is that damage from fiddlestick oh oh that's a bit awkward it's a bit of an awkward ultimate but he bought enough time for my team to stop it I'm so close to crown the Shattered Queen, by the way. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna do. I, I should just put down turrets. Maybe I'm trying to stun uh, the Garen. Just put down turrets. There we go. That's one turret in a very good spot. Put down an empowered turret. Nice. Okay, this is really good. The turret is doing work. Oh my god, that turret. That turret just killed Garen together with the Kaiser. Man, this sin is annoying. Oh, I killed her. Nice. With my second ability. Or with a turret. I killed her. Whatever it is, I killed her. Look at. You see that turret? Damage. It, it, it just has to shoot once to just burn them and, and slow them. The thing is though, with the other build, the turrets are gonna do... Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it. You, you'll see it yourself. I don't wanna spoil it. But with that other build... <laughs> Let's just say I've seen a turret 1v1 an enemy. Let's just say it like that. Come on, shoot! Why does it not shoot? I don't understand. Look, they're taking Baron. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put down turrets. I'm gonna shoot the diverging shots. To... It's not shooting. To be annoying. I'm gonna put down the turrets. Look, this is your job as a Heimerdinger. When your team is taking objectives, you want to put down the turrets and just be absolutely annoying. Look. Oh god. Empowered. I'm just putting down an empowered turret so they can't cross. There we go. Empowered turret has been put down. Just so they can't cross. Totally worth it. I don't want to take the the T-Hex Baron. Because I'm very, very strong. I do the most damage on my team by far. So I'm not going to take that thing. Camille, don't die, please. Oh, nice. I'm getting one shot by Syndra. I blocked her ultimate. I'm dead. Am I really... You know what, I still did a decent amount of damage, but come on, I really have to get caught like that. I was forced to stasis Syndrald and then Nami just caught me right after my stasis. They played a really good job on me. They just did a really good job, this enemy, what can I say? Credit. Sometimes you just have to give credits to enemies. Rather than complain. Wait, am I still recording? 
Oh my god, please dear god, tell me I'm still recording. It, it, it froze the record button. But I'm just gonna go ahead and trust it. And think that it's still recording. Whatever, I'm gonna make the best of it. If it's recording, it's recording. If it's not, I'm gonna cry myself a river and record it again. I've done that before, trust me. Well, I didn't actually cry, but I got really mad. Oh, I got really mad. Like, when it doesn't work. Because oftentimes when I make videos, I start giving stories and everything like that. And I never pre-plan what I want to talk about. I just turn on my camera and I start recording and I start talking. It's like a conversation. I imagine myself having a conversation with you guys. Because I see a lot of comments. I know what you guys ask me and all of that. So I kind of inherently answer a lot of those questions. So it's a unique thing. Every video is a very unique thing for me. And I can't replicate what I recorded before. So it's very annoying to me when I'm very proud of a video and then suddenly I realize the recording was corrupted or the mic wasn't working or anything like that. That's really the most annoying thing ever. Not because I hate spending my time doing this, but just because I lost the product. I lost the video, which, you know, really sucks. Can we end? I am. I'm putting down a third. So, reminder, there is another gameplay. Don't click off the video. There is another gameplay. Let's just take a look at how much damage I did in this first gameplay. By the way, um, in case you're seeing low rank, they, this was like my fourth game in the season. So, if you're looking at this video in the future, no, I am not Emerald. I am a 10 times challenger player in this game. And I will be challenger again this season too. So, this is only because it's in the beginning of the season. I got S rank. 78 thousand damage S nearly seven thousand just from the arcane comet so now we're gonna move on to the next game which is gonna be another game in the beginning of the season and this is actually also a 27 minute game but this one you can see the smile on my face how i, I honestly i'm not gonna tell you anything anymore i'm just gonna we're just gonna watch it we're gonna watch it together I played this game after this uh, after the other game. So at this point, I knew about the diverging shots. Here you go. You see, I knew about this. So now I'm going to utilize it a lot more and a lot more efficiently. And uh, it's going to do a lot more damage too. So look, it's not shooting. Riot, why? Do I have a setting wrong? Why is it not shooting? I don't understand. Again, I'm not taking the turrets yet. Um, just my other abilities. Zix is a little bit annoying actually. Because he can outrange me. I really have to dodge his stuff. And I have to bully him with my uh, diverging shots on my second ability. You may think that Zix can easily take down my turrets. The answer is actually no. He can't one-shot the turrets with his bombs. So he's going to have to spend a lot of mana and his effort to try to take down your turrets. But... Uh, I definitely wouldn't say that Zix counters Heimerdinger. Not at all. Not at all. I'm gonna help my teammate here. Putting down this nice little turret. Forcing him to flash away, baby. We can maybe fight this Vi. We're gonna be next to my turret. Yeah, look at that. I put down two turrets here. Two turrets. She can't deal with it. She's just dead. We're playing around my turrets and she can't deal with it. Oh god, if I can stun him? Yeah, he's running away of course. He's not gonna give that to me. It hit. The diverging shots hit. But Leona? Leona? Could I have... I didn't have mana. <gasps> Why did that not work? You can do that combo by the way. And I've pulled that combo off multiple times before. Why did it not work? Also, the way the turret focuses your turret is really weird. Uh, sometimes it hits your turrets, sometimes it doesn't. There's, there's some stuff that I don't know about this champion yet either. It doesn't seem to be that the turret hits the closest one. Because as I said, sometimes it just hits your turret and sometimes it doesn't. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how. But if it doesn't hit your turrets... It, your turrets will demolish the big turret. Like, it does a lot of damage. 
the overtime damage will do so so much. I'm CSing pretty well as well, by the way. Oh, also, um, I, I said this already, right? Like, the way you want to max some... I didn't say this yet. The way you want to max your abilities is first you want to max your second ability, not your turret. I forgot to say this. Even with the first build, you actually want to max your second ability. If I did the diverging shots, I would have killed both of them. Just saying. But you want to max your second ability because this is the ability that will actually do damage early game. Come on. And then you want to max your first ability. Because only in the mid game will your first will your turret start to be viable. Don't max your turret. Because early game it's useless. Just be careful of that. You're really wasting a lot of early game damage if you're not maxing your second ability. Very, very important. This is probably the most important tip. This is going to I can give you all of the other tips, but this is going to make the biggest difference. The fact that your second ability will do tons of damage at level 7 is what's going to allow you to just one-shot people and really, really get yourself ahead in the game. If you cannot do that, trust me, your turrets are not going to carry you through the early mid-game. They're just not. It doesn't matter if you max it. The second ability will carry you through the early mid-game. Only in the late game is where the turrets will take over. Look again, it focuses my turret, right? I don't, I don't really know how it works. Because it doesn't make any sense. Again, we're going to try to stun him in, inside our turrets. Put down the big turret here. Put down another turret. And he actually flashes away. If he hadn't flashed, I would have killed him. You see the power of the turrets? Imagine if I had a stasis. Both of them would have died. Both. Literally, both of them would have just died right there. He's not gonna kill him, is he? Yeah, he's not. It's a bit awkward. What? What, what was that Ziggs ultimate? Why did he throw it like that? Diverging shots, and you're. He took a lot of damage from that, I can tell you that by the way. Also, be careful with using your second ability before you want to use an empowered second ability because it doesn't work. It has to be off cooldown for you to be able to put on an empowered second ability. So, if you want to use the empowered second ability, don't use the normal one before empowering it. Be careful. He's putting down a turret. Playing around my turret. Look, you see, I don't have an empowered second ability now. You see, like, you, you don't want to use the empowered second ability before you want to... Sorry, you don't want to use the, the normal second ability before you want to empower it. I would have actually loved to have an empowered second ability there. But I didn't because I used the normal one already. Which is kind of bad. I'm just quickly shoving this wave to make them lose farm. But uh, Vi taking damage... Ah... The f I did the flash combo, but I just didn't aim it correctly. She ran the other way. I thought she would try to go this way, but she actually went that way. Bit of a shame, honestly. Then again, like, I don't really care about the Drake now. I want to get myself fed and get myself to the late game. That's what I'm trying to do. Look at this. Again, he's walking through my turrets. Look, 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 look. <laughs> he's a tank, by the way. And he, even he's getting annoyed. I don't even have a single item yet, by the way. And that's the crazy part. I didn't even have an item. Now, my turrets will start hurting. Like, this is when the build comes online. When you get that first item, and especially the Prophet's Pendant of the second item as well. I should probably... I was gonna say, I should probably use an Empowered Second Ability if Leona hit an ultimate. That was why I was waiting with my second ability a little bit. But she didn't actually ult, so... Then I used the normal one. Okay, put down turrets. Look, put down turrets. That's it. You see how I immediately, instinctively ran away and put down turrets? Immediately, that's what you have to do. Put down turrets, 
stay around your turrets. Don't leave your turrets. They are your biggest friends in situations like that. They will scare off enemies. And if they don't scare them off, they sure as hell will do a lot of damage to them. That would have killed the Ziggs, by the way. You see, even the Ziggs ultimate will not one-shot your turrets. This is why I say Ziggs doesn't counter anybody here. I know she's there, by the way, so... Boom, look at that. Oh god, oh god. Stun. Okay, we're having a bit of an engage. Oh, I could have killed him. What am I doing? Oh, my map awareness was so bad. I could have easily killed him there. If I just stayed close, my second ability, I could have easily killed him because he got, he got knocked up. Man, I feel bad about that. I could have easily killed him. Damn it, dude. She should die for my turret though, okay. No. Not quite enough damage yet to just one-shot them. I mean, that is how you want to play this build. With that empowered second ability, it will just destroy the enemies. But with only one item, you're of course not quite there yet right, to do the to do the job. Man, I sure as hell hope it's still recording, for real. Because it's it, it froze at 7 minutes 59 seconds. I have no idea what how long the video has been recording now. I think it, it's been like, what? 45 minutes, I think? That, if I can guess, we're 45 minutes into the video. Something like that. Ooh, he's hurting though, he's hurting. You can see though, like, this build is definitely not as annoying as the other one, right? Because, sure, it even in the early game, it's this build is not as strong as the other one. This build comes online late game. Because... You're not really going to feel the extra damage early on in the game. You know why? Because the other build, even though it doesn't do as much damage, it deals damage for a longer period because you're burning them with Leandris and you're slowing them with the Wild Scepter. So you're, you're going to get more turret shots. But look, you see that? If you do get a situation like that, you're going to blow them up with your second ability. But as I said, late game, complete different story. This build will demolish them late game. Crazy damage already, by the way, as well, considering Swain is a tank. She's in the middle of my turrets, but... You see, look, I'm running into my turrets every single time. Just to make them take damage from my turrets. It's all you want to do. Yeah, I needed a stasis. But as I said, with this build, you only want to get stasis after two items. With the first build, after your Wild Scepter. With the second build, you want to prioritize damage. Because if you get a stasis after Infinity Orb, you're, it's gonna fail. You're just not gonna do enough damage. So you only really wanna get stasis after your uh, Hex Awakened Soul Stealer, however the hell this item is called. Which is now. Nice, okay. Now we can actually fight this dragon. Again, of course I'm gonna put down turrets. I'm not gonna let them take this dragon. There we go, just bullying her. She's gonna try to ult me probably. Okay, shoot the die. Okay, put down empowered turret, good. In this situation I like it, because as you can see it's doing crazy damage, this empowered turret. Hit the Zix from the backline. Also good. I'm playing this really well right now. Oh yeah, look at that, the diverging shot. I need to stasis here. Again, put down turrets and just try to maintain as distant as possible. There we go, I'm alive. You see? You see how, how it works? I can assure you during this team fight, my turrets did like probably like 5,000 damage. They kept trying to get to me. Stun. Empowered. There we go. I still died. I actually messed up. 
If I didn't use my second ability prior to her engaging, I would have been able to one-shot her with an empowered second ability rather than putting down an empowered third. The empowered third really didn't do anything right there. Um, so that was my bad. I should not have... This is what I mean. You need to be careful about using your abilities before using your ult. Because if you want to have the empowered ability ready, you need to have the normal ability ready. It doesn't just reset it. I think this is a quality of life change they should do for Heimerdinger. Where if you ult, you can just immediately use whichever ability you want. But I see how this is a cool thing as well. Because now you have to be careful about when to use your abilities. Because you may want the empowered version of it, right? So I, I, I like it this way. But I feel like for the general player base, it would be better if it just resets your abilities. It's just easier. It's more beginner friendly, which is definitely the name of the game for uh, Wild Rift. Trying to make it more beginner friendly. Man, this Zix is annoying. I do have Legend Bloodline, so I will heal up slowly but steadily. As you can see, I am healing up, but it's kind of slow. I'm telling him to push bot. Oh, this is ideal for me. I can put turrets over this wall and just bully them, but they're not close enough, so I can't. We put down an empowered turret here. Oh my god, it is doing so much work. Like, look at Caitlyn. No one died? Oh, there we go. She died. Stays. Good. It's good that I have the reaction time here as well as in the game. The TX is just finishing them off. Funny thing, like I don't even have three items yet. I'm already doing decent damage, but you're gonna see the real, real, real damage very, very soon. Because now that I will get a Rabbit's death cap. Look, now the turret was not attacking my um, my turret anymore. Look, you see? Again, it's not attacking my turn. Oh, it was attacking the T-Hex. So the turret first prioritizes champions. But if it's not attacking any champions, it will immediately attack Heimerdinger's turrets. That's how it works. I see. So it doesn't matter how far away your turrets are. The enemy turret will always focus Heimerdinger's turrets. I see. Okay. He just he got one shot, by the way, without even using the Empowered ability. Stun him and just run away. Look, I'm running away. Putting down turrets and running away. Look, what am I gonna what am I gonna do? Just try to stun him, put down a turret, and run away. Oh god, I went too close. Just put an empowered turret down, please. Oh, I would I used the rocket, but I should have probably used the turret. Ah, uh, both wouldn't have really done anything right there. But now I finally got my Rabadon. And I think this is going to make the difference. The Rabadon's death cap is probably going to make the big difference here. Blue buffs are very helpful in Heimerdinger as well, not because you need the man. Oh, come on. Stun him. Put down an empowered turret here. Perfect. The empowered turret was the right choice there. It did so much damage. Again, I blocked the Caitlyn ult. Did you see how suddenly the Caitlyn was ulting me right there? But I would have died if I didn't stasis. I would have died right then and there. Oh, man. This is not good. Ooh, the damage. Ooh, the damage. Ooh, the damage, baby. Look at that. You can even flash combo the empowered ult, empowered second ability in case you were wondering. You can also diverge that one. It works too, by the way. Now that's something that is pretty crazy to do. If you want to just take down everyone, you can shoot rockets everywhere. You have to you'd have to diverge them, like shoot them like this as well. 
You may think that the game is over now. You may think that we've won. <laughs> yeah, just keep watching. Just keep watching about all the stuff that's going to happen in this game. Because this game is about to go crazy. Because I also thought, okay, we've, we've kind of secured this game by now, right? Like, we, we got this. This is... I got four items. This game is probably going to be over. We got this. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how easy that's going to go. The Crown of Shattered Queen definitely helps a lot, though. The extra shielding is so good. I missed... I'm not gonna take the Drake, I'm just gonna bully them. Of course I'm gonna bully them. Bo he, he's Is he dead? Did you just see how much damage I did to the Ziggs? With a single rocket? Did, um, of course you saw it, you're watching the video. I mean that empowered rocket just blew up to Caitlyn by the way. Now we won, right? Like we're gonna end the game, right? Right? This is it. We're gonna win. Right? <laughs> I love how he immediately flashes away. I love that fear. It just feels good if the enemies are this fearful of you. It feels good that he's so scared. That's what I want him to be. I want him to be that scared of me. Ah, oh, come on. Empowered turret. Another turret. Stasis. I killed, I killed Zix, but not quite able to kill the Vi- I nearly killed her though. It was really, really close. But as you saw, I put down all the turrets and I put myself into stasis and I nearly killed a full HP Vi with that. Unfortunate that I didn't kill her though. Come on, like... That was too close. She was able to shield. I think her Starrix Gauge- If she has Starrix Gauge, I think it got proc'd as well. It felt like she got a lot tankier when she got too low HP. Not sure what he thinks he's doing, but uh, Kane and Leona are never gonna kill these two tanks. So he's just wasting. He's wasting his time. He's just giving her heart steel stacks. This Vi has spirit visage. A lot of defense against me. I'm just gonna put down two turrets and leave leave them alone with the wave. They should be able to clear the wave themselves. Because I need to be there for my team. They're just losing this whole fight. Ooh, Baron BG wanted to play. Oh, baby. One more of those and he's just dead. Come on, shoot. Why does it not shoot? Oh, my God. Empowered turret? I'm not letting them take this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm just not allowing them to take it by myself. I'm forcing the entire enemy team to go off the Baron just by myself. I didn't even need the misfortune. Didn't even need her. Heimerdinger is so ridiculous with his stupid turrets. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's put one over there in case they try to be funny. Oh, Vice ulting my misfortune, I noticed. Oh, he's hit, he's dead. Of course, again, utilizing my turret movement speed to dodge that Zix ultimate. The turret movement speed is so underrated. You really need to use it. Look, I'm using the empowered stun here to hit her all the way in the back line. I hit her, but I only slowed her. Oh, I gotta be careful here though. These ADCs can take me out fast if I get too close. It's not shooting. I got 48 ability haste stolen by the way, look. Uh, th this item, the Awakened Soul Stealer is so ridiculous, so so ridiculous. The bonus ability haste, look at the cooldown of my abilities. 3 seconds on my uh, second ability. 3 seconds! Well now it's not gonna be 3 seconds anymore. But like when you kill an enemy the cooldowns will just be so low. So so low. Oh god. I'm taking down the Baron with my turrets. And 
and boom, there we go. You can you can smite Baron with uh, Heimerding with your second ability. You can do an even better job with an empowered second ability, by the way, if you really, really have to smite it properly. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sparing any chances. Put down the turrets, put down the turrets, and remain distant. Remain very, very distant, just put down the turrets, that's all I have to do. There we go. Now they all have to walk through my turret stasis. Flash, turret again. Okay, I did die, but think about it, my turrets did more than enough work. So like, I provided enough value in this team fight. I did so much damage. Did I though? Did I? Come on, bro, just... There we go. <laughs> kind of felt like it was not a 5v5 game. I don't know, it felt like a lot... Oftentimes my team was just not there. Felt It really felt like that quite often in this game. Wow, my beard grew back. I had a moustache like one and a half weeks ago. I shaved it clean, but it's back. We're back in business with the beard. Why the hell is Misfortune taking the Elder Dragon? We're ending the game. Alright, so let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that in this game. Again, it's the beginning of the season. Don't look at my rank and judge anything. Um, this was like the fourth game, five, fifth game of the season or something. Um, so let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. 85,000 damage, dude. 85,000 damage, what the hell is that? So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, a reminder, we're having an 80% discount the next 72 hours in the player versus fitness program. We need you guys in to get those transformations. So if you want to transform your life, link is in the description, link is in the pinned comment. All it takes is 20 euros, which is 21, $22. Do it, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.